Hey guys, here's just an update of the Volkswagen Subaru swap project. Um, it's been cold outside, haven't had a chance to get out there. I've been working on my air gun projects and that type of thing. But for those of you that have been wanting to uh, see more about the Volkswagen project, here you go. <clears throat> so this is more about the standalone ECU that I'm using. This is the MS3 Pro or Mega Squirt 3 Pro. Um, it comes in these nice boxes. And here's the ECU itself. It's pretty small. Um, it also has a wiring diagram right on the back right there. Um, very cool system. It comes with a couple resistors to, um, in case you need them for different applications like your um, crank sensor and that type of thing. You can uh, solder these in line. It comes with a flash drive and your tuning cable. This is the high speed USB cable. <clears throat> and then it comes with this little guy. This cap actually unscrews. It's pretty tight. It actually unscrews. You can actually mount it. <clears throat> Excuse me, mount it somewhere. And then your uh, tuning cable plugs into that. <clears throat> and then here's the wiring harness. This is the universal model. It comes with an RS-232 cable, <clears throat> which I don't need, um, as far as I know yet. Here's where the uh, ECU plugs in, is into these two uh, GM style connectors. This little thing here, um, since it's the Subaru style and I, I have two, um, two Hall effect sensors and two variable reluctance sensors, reluctance sensors. Um, this is a little converter that takes the VR signal and it conditions it and cleans it up. And then I think it kind of converts it into a Hall effect sensor, um, a powered sensor kind of type thing. So that's in that little box. I just soldered it together and then used some shrink wrap and that'll eventually get mounted somewhere. Um, but it's a little board you have to solder all the wires to. So it's kind of challenging. Um, and then from this point here, this is all the Subaru factory wiring. Um, this is labeled obviously VW passenger side, which is the um, Subaru driver side because the engine's mounted backwards. Um, got the injectors and everything and the um, AVCS solenoid wires and stuff. And I like to label everything, so where stuff needs to go, like this one's the IAC, idle air control valve. Um, I just like to keep things really clean and label everything, like fuel pump 12 volts, uh, 12 volt main relay, it's upside down. And that type of thing. So if you're doing a wiring swap, labeling is your friend. And also this gets to be a mess. I mean, you've got, these are unused wires here. And the good part about the mega squirt is, let's see if it'll focus on this here. Of course it's not gonna focus, but each wire is labeled. You can kind of see the writing there. Each wire is labeled with what it does and where it goes kind of, so. It's very helpful to um, to know what wire goes where, especially when you're working on this end of the harness, trying to connect to this end of the harness. It gets kind of confusing, but everything's labeled nice and and that type of thing. So I'm really happy with it so far. Here is the um, manifold pressure sensor. It's the GM style. I think it's a three bar sensor, which is way more than I need. And you could probably run the stock Subaru one, but I figured just put this thing in. It's a lot more user friendly type thing. So I just went with that. And then like, here's the uh, coil pack for number one. And um, this is for number three and then the AVCS solenoid, and the um, this one's the cam sensor for the exhaust side. So um, it's pretty simple. I mean, when you really cut down the Subaru harness and what you need to run the engine, this is essentially it. It's just these two pieces. 
Um, I like to solder all the connections so everything is soldered and shrink wrapped. Um, and then this also has some shielded wires, these silver ones here. So that's for your like um, cam and crank sensors. So I need to wire this one's for the crank. I need to wire that up. Um, but this is kind of where I'm at with the wiring. And let's see here. I also got a downpipe flange. It is stainless steel, uh, about 10 millimeters thick. And it looks to be like it's plasma cut or laser cut. So that's going to go um, on the exhaust. So this bolts to the turbo. Very different pattern. Um, I actually had to order it from like Korea or something because I couldn't find any closer than that. So that's a consideration with JDM engines. And then this guy here, let's see if we can do this. Oh, okay, there we go. This is an Innovate, uh, I think it's an LC2. Let's see, what does it say? It doesn't say on there. Pretty sure it's an LC2 uh, wideband oxygen sensor. So there's the sensor. And here's the little controller deal. Innovate, yep, LC2 sensor controller. So that's going to get wired in. And then here we got a cable. It's an 8 foot cable for the sensor. And then I also, from DIY Auto Tune, this is where I bought it from. This is a uh, intake air temperature sensor and a pigtail. Of course, they give you stickers. We all love stickers. And the Innovate um, LC2 also came with an oxygen sensor bung. I wish it wasn't mild steel. I wish it was stainless, but um, that's fine. I'll probably use it anyway. So, And then you got instructions. So I've got that. And that's pretty much the wiring. It's about done. I'll have to put it in the car and um, build a power harness and hook up the powers in the grounds and run fuses and stuff like that so there you have that um, that's where the wiring's at for that Volkswagen project um, I'm mostly doing stuff inside because it's freaking cold outside so um, but like I say it's a good system it'll do all that stuff there you can also look it up DIYAutotune.com down here um, they're very helpful to help you find the right unit for what car you're running. They also have plug and play solutions, so check that out. Um, so there's that. They also give you a little flash drive with an MS3 Pro sticker on it. It's pretty cool. I'm sure you paid a lot of money for that, but um, but there you have it. And I've also got one other thing. Let me pause the camera and grab it. And here's the other thing I got. Um, got 15 by 5 wheels. U.S. Wheel Baja Mod 940s, nice gloss black powder coat. These actually were uh, made for me. They had to make them when I ordered them. They were four weeks uh, turnaround time. So very nice wheels. Very cool looking. Uh, they're steel, but I really like the looks of them. They're pretty cool wheels. So that's about where the project's at. Uh, stay tuned. I got more coming. And um, check out my other videos. I've got more about kind of the process of this build and how to swap your own um, Volkswagen. Uh, there's a video on that as well. So check out my other videos. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. I've had a lot of subscribers lately. Uh, that's great. Thank you for that. Um, if I can get a few more subscribers, I'm thinking about doing some sort of a giveaway. I've got some things... Um, around here that I've made or just some extra parts and stuff so I might be attempting to do a giveaway soon we'll see how that goes but um, there you have it have a good day